So this is how you can allow CapCut to access photos on your iPad. Let's get into it. At first, it's important to mention that by default, when you open up the CapCut app for the first time, you should get prompted to allow access to the photos, right? So that's like the thing that happens first when you open up the app and start editing. However, if you decline or don't know what you clicked, you can still manage and tweak these settings. So instead of uh, going to CapCut directly, you'll go to the settings app of your iPad and entirely at the bottom, you can find at the apps section. From the apps, every single application is here sorted alphabetically. So find CapCut, it should be somewhere closer to the top and at the top right there, you can find photos. And essentially you have three options, so it is possible to set it to none, which means that no access to photos is granted, obviously, but outside of that you have the full access, but also limited access. And the limited access basically gets you to pick only certain amount of photos and only specific videos and photos which you click and select right so if you only want to work with like three files then you can select those and CapCut doesn't have access to anything else on your ipad so it is a nice middle ground if you don't want to give it full access to all of your photos but you know a lot of times i find it a lot easier when the full access is enabled and i just go through my library directly from the CapCut. So that's how you can enable it. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to do it. Most definitely subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this one, and I'll see you later.